Hello, Ilya 3. How are you doing at home? I hope you are doing fine. I miss you all. Today, I prepared for you science lesson. As you can see, look at my hands. I have two things I'm holding and it's pulling my hand. It's pulling, look at this. Wow. Again. What is that? I can't remove, I'm using force to pull it out. And again, it's going together and it's holding each other. Have you ever seen something like this before? I think so. So our science topic today is going to be magnetic material. And our objective is by the end of this lesson, you will be able to explore how some materials are magnetic about but many are not and our topic has a link with the theme of recycling every time when in the class i'll be asking you who can link between our topic today and the previous topic or what we have done before so as you can see our topic today has a link with the theme of recycling Magnets are often used to separate magnetic metal from non-magnetic materials in the recycling process. Now, as you can see, every day we have our starter. Every time we have this, our wheel, and you can do it at home, and you can do it and write them in your notebook. Using all the letters in the way, try to find our keywords. If you look at this letter, you'll be able to find our keywords for our topic today. Okay? Now, this one you can see is a useful little. You can go to YouTube, open this link, and you can watch to find more information about magnet. So these are our keywords. Our keywords here, if you look at the our starter, you'll find some of the keywords here. We are going to learn about magnets, magnetic, non-magnetic, attractive, and pattern. So, as you can see, what is a magnet? What is a magnet? This what I'm holding is a magnet. And I'm asking you, what is a magnet? I have this type of magnet and I have another one here. This one look like you. Sure. So what is a magnet? What is a magnet? A magnet is a piece of iron or steel that possesses the property of attracting some materials. You can see even it's attracting, it's attracting each other. About magnetism. Magnetism is an invisible force. This is what we call force. This is what we call force. It pull, you see, it pull metal from, it pull metal objects which are magnetic towards a magnet. There are lots of different types of magnets. These include, we have this type of magnet, it's called horseshoe magnet. We have another one, it's called bar magnet. And we have this one, it's called circular magnet. What is non-magnetic? What is non-magnetic? Non-magnetic are materials that are not attracted to magnets. We are going to do activity. We are going to do activity. We are going to find out which material are magnet and which material are not magnet. After that, you will be able to know the example of non-magnet non and example of magnetic material. Look here, we have example of magnetic materials. These are metal like 
nickel nine, cobalt cone. I have that here one. We can try it. It's a magnet. Okay. I have steel spoon. It is a magnetic material. I have iron, iron nail and we have steel paper clay. Can you see that? It's a magnetic material. Then we have example of non-magnetic non materials. You can see paper. I have paper here. We have your notebook here. You can see it's a non-magnetic material. We have glass. It's a non-magnetic material. Plastic. This is plastic material. A non-magnetic material. We have rubber and we have also wooden chair. So, uses of magnets. What do we use magnet for? Magnet can be used to separate magnetic materials from non-magnetic materials. Look at your learner's book, page 54. You can see a picture, magne a magnet separating magnetic metal from other rubbish for recycling. As I told you that our topic, there's a link between our topic of magnet material and recycling. You can see they usually use it to separate some of the things which are sticking together, especially for the garbage. They use magnetic material. Let's try this activity. The activity here you can see, we have object, we have material, and we have magnetic or non-magnetic. The first object I have here is ruler. So let's try to see this ruler. I have here.